Hello, my name is Rebecca Solis and the tool I'm going to present to you about is SlideShare. So what is SlideShare? It's basically a database with access to many presentations, um, as you can see here, infographics, different documents that deal with various subjects. So when we start using SlideShare, as soon as you get to the website, you'll see the top SlideShares that are up for today. As you can see here, you see the number of views as well, and you can see if they can be downloaded or shared. If you scroll down, you see that there are various types of presentations that deal with different types of topics. And then if you keep scrolling down some more, if you're interested later on when you keep exploring SlideShare, you can look up different topics and look at the presentations that fall into those topics. So to get access or to get inside SlideShare, first, of course, you're going to have to log in. When it comes to SlideShare, you can log in three ways. You either log in with LinkedIn, Facebook, or you create your own SlideShare account. So since I have a LinkedIn account, I'm going to log in that and of course once I'm inside I have access to all these presentations now if you plan to use slideshare one uh, way you can do it is if you want to present your lecture. And then afterwards, of course, it gives easy access to your students or whoever your audience is to view the presentation multiple times. So what if you do want your students to see this presentation? What you can do is go to Upload. Select Files to Upload. And then all you have to do is click and drag your presentation. So as this presentation is getting loaded, you can put a title, have a description. So let's just say I put brief description of Adams. Choose a category. In this case, you have all these options here and I'm going to choose science. I'm going to leave it public so I can give it easy access to anyone. And I can also have tags, so it's going to be easier to discover. So I'm going to leave, I'm going to put science. I'm going to put atoms. And as I keep putting tags, this will show how easy it is to be able to find this presentation on SlideShare. Of course, once you're done, you click Publish. And now they can view it. So let's say your student really likes one of the slides or it's helping them going to remember. So of course, as they go through it, what they can do is actually clip a slide. And as you can see here, it's clipped and it goes into your clipboard, right? Now, I've shown you how you can use SlideShare to help out your students, but also what they can do is find different presentations that deal with the same subject. So let's say I go to the search, I click Atoms, And now I have various slideshows about the same topic. And click on one of those slideshows. And see what content it has. You can also see how many views it has. And here they, you have the option to be able to share this presentation, like the presentation, or download the presentation. 
and like a discussion thread, you will see all the input here from different types of users. And again, at the bottom, you see all the content that the presentation has. In every page that you explore, if you explore a presentation, you're also going to see recommended either videos or other presentations as well on the side of the page. Now, let's say if you need more sources, if you need more help on something, um, you can now explore SlideShare for yourself. So I'm interested in education. I'm going to look into that topic. And then I see the different types of websites here. Now, one thing that can relate to our class, for example, is here like online games for language learners. I'm going to click on this and see if it's relevant and start going through the presentation. Now I find something that I like. What I'm going to do is again, clip the slide. And as you can see here, it shows that now I have it for my access. If I want to see it later, I can go to my clipboards. And what I do next is I click here and I view the clipboards or the clips that I've had. So now I've gone through various presentations and I have this basically the different slides that I really liked from the different presentations. So now you see the different uses for SlideShare and how um, it can be beneficial. Um, I hope you've liked this presentation and I hope it is helpful.